Hello guys, this is December 2023. Today marks three years since I've been having this motorcycle. The motorcycle has been great. I've been using so in most of my drivings, in my daily commuting. But as of today, it marks three years since I've been having this motorcycle. On the dashboard, we have about these kilometers so far. That's the kilometer we have. It's about 21,614. That's the kilometer we have till today. This is December 2023. So far, I'm doing this review for these three years of using these motorcycles. So you guys can see what has changed so far since I've been having this motorcycle. So from the general look, this is how it looks from the front brake disc. Uh, that's how it looks from the from the steering wheel perspective on the tank, on the seat, on the engine as well, and the gearbox the rear so far the other side this is how it looks so this is how it looks so far I'm going to break down each and everything which has changed so far from this motorcycle since I have been having this one so let us start from the front. From the front, if you can clearly see, you will see that uh, these are the original lights, but this and this one are the custom ones. I customized this so I added more light so that uh, it can be more brighter in front because I came to realize that as the time goes on, on the use, the light in front here was not being so much bright. So, so far from the front, what we have changed so far is these customer lights. I added this one customerly. And uh, there is a little scratch here on the mudguard. So far, I changed the brake disc or the brake, the brake disc in front once. I changed the brake once. I changed the, uh, the speedometer cable once. Also, on the dashboard here, we can see a few changes. The side mirror is a little bit loose. This one, the right one, is a little bit loose. So it is it's loose, it's loose and, I have, and I have to figure out how to fix this one. That's how it looks from the front. But also, I changed once this accelerator cable. I mean, this clutch cable, this clutch handle. Clutch handle, I changed once. That's why you can see the switch is, is a little bit loose here. So this switch comes automatically with the, with the original clutch handle. But if you get it after market one, this one won't fit. So that's why you can see it is loose just like this one. Uh, from the tank, no much, just, just zero changes. It's not still in good condition, but not new. On the seat, there was... Uh, the seat was getting worn out on, on the edge here so I had to sew this one so that it can be in a good shape so that's for, so that's how it looks from the top perspectives now let us go to the bottom perspectives uh, from the rear the tires are still the original ones I never changed the tires for all of these three years the front one the front one and the back one I never changed them apart from that uh to the right side of the motorcycle <laughs> you can see the black pedal is bent a little bit so i remember one day i was coming back home and then i hit a stone so since i hit i think it is about like three weeks i haven't changed this one but i would consider doing so i thought about um, just making this, this one straight and then i came to hear that if I try to straighten this one, it will bend, I mean it will break apart, so I would just consider changing this one because it's not so much expensive. So that's how it was from the right side as well. Um, let us see about the engine. So from the engine part, I mean the gearbox is intact, is okay. I changed the, 
the cable once, I mean the accelerator, I mean, I mean the clutch cable, I changed it once. It, I mean, it failed once, so I had to change it. And then, from the engine, if you can see here, if you can see here, you will see some decks. So these decks are the mixture of oil leakage, oil leakage and, um, and, some, and some dust. So if you remember, in one of the video I, I ever shared in my YouTube channel, I said that every time if we have a motorcycle or a car, the best time to inspect is when it's dead. We don't do inspection when the vehicle or motorcycle is clean. So right now the motorcycle is dead and that's why I'm doing this review and inspection as well. If you see here, closely I will just lower my phone so that I can zoom. If you can see here, so all of these leakage are because of the engine block gasket is worn. The engine gasket is worn. Is worn and um, so in today's video I think I will consider about um, changing the engine gasket as well so apart from the physical perspective or the physical view how the, the motorcycle looks still looks great but uh, i have experienced some of the few changes so when i'm riding this motorcycle there is this, there is a little bit slow it's, it's it lacks the power a little bit and uh, i thought it has been three years i never opened the engine i never opened the gearbox so today i think i would consider changing a few things and those are the first one i think i'll deal with the engine part so from the engine i will change uh, the piston piston rings but also i'll change the valves the plug i think is okay it burns very well so i think i won't change that one so that's so those are the few things which i'll consider changing today as this motorcycle marks three years of use since I've been having this motorcycle. So, um, apart from that, guys, I think I will share more content and we can see how this motorcycle is doing. But also, uh, I didn't share the other thing. I changed the, the chain kit. I changed the chain kit and I, I shared it in one of the video. So if you never seen that one, please consider seeing it then. Possibly you can learn some of the few stuffs. The other thing which I checked today, I checked the air filter which is located right here the air filter still looks great it just needed a little cleanings and then i'm i'm good to go so thanks guys for watching i hope to see you on the other one please consider subscribing to this video if you find this useful you can share with your friends and then you can see how this ride goes on so from here it marks uh, i think i have to go and do some mechanics on this motorcycle and then you can see how things are going so first of all, I will change the piston, I will change the valves, but also I'm going to make some cleaning up. I'm going to make this baby shiny. And then I will share some of the tips to make this thing going. Thanks guys and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment down below in the comment section. See you on the next one.